Oh yeah, a little small, but... Okay. How to update the link. My tablet is not even plugged in yet. Oof. Okay. I don't even know what to draw today. Jojo, hi. I don't know what to draw. <laughs> I know I want to stream today, but I don't know what to draw yet. It's a dilemma, yes. How are you, though? I'll just draw my onion or something. How are you though? How was your day? <laughs> uh, thank you. I mean, I didn't make it, but um, not a lot of people know this artist, so I'm kind of happy I found him. So. One of my favorite songs from him is this one. Let me play it. It's called Felicia's Secret. Uh, I'll type their name out.
maybe make it a little higher so you can hear it better. <laughs> Peaceful. It sounds like a movie soundtrack. That's what I like about it. I spelled his name wrong. It's Wilhelmson, not Will Henlevson. <laughs> Can't pronounce it. unique later. Yeah. It's sad because it feels like it's from a movie, but I can't really imagine my OCs with this type of soundtrack. <laughs> that is a huge. Uh, I'm just gonna make it I for now, so I'm a genre in my What to do with our hands? So, like, what do I do with the hands? Maybe she's holding a pizza. <laughs> Change the camera size. I don't even know how to draw someone holding a pizza. something like that. There's a lot of characters who have uh, eating a lot as their main character trait. <laughs> I'm asking you to watch Darker Than Black and then the main character eats a lot. <laughs> it's really common though. All about perspective. That's what I was like, cause that's what I was considering. Cause I'm like, I wonder if she'd be someone who, like, she looks like she would be, but at the same time, I, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Especially w when I have a character like Jun who barely eats anything. Um, I wonder. Like if it'd be a good have that dynamic between the two, but like show a difference, contrast. She just eats her leftovers because <laughs> he doesn't finish his meal. Do you have a character like that, uh, Jojo? Yeah, one who eats a lot. <laughs> of course everyone eats, but like... Eats a lot. <laughs> Dio just eats a bunch of dango. You should. I wonder if it has cholesterol in it. Does dango have cholesterol? I don't. I never had dango. Looks like it's made out of bread though. 
I want her to hold a drink in the other arm, but how to draw the other arm. He do, he do. But what about someone from this? Who eats the most in this? I feel like Noah would because he comes from like a... Um, if he comes from poverty, then he'd be like, I need to eat, otherwise like I won't have anything tomorrow. It'd be like a stray cat kind of thing, but you know, they eat so much. <laughs> growing baby <laughs> and Keon can just be like let me draw it I don't know how to draw his arms eyes I don't remember his hair I know he has a headband <laughs> sorry this is my Keon from memory He's got a headband. Forgot the rest of his hair. You know what he right here. I don't remember Noah's hair either. Kill me. Did he just be like eating a lot? I know he's got a scarf. <laughs> He'd be like eating a lot of food, and and Keanu would be like, <laughs> um. Hold on. You eat so much, but you're still <laughs> so s small. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember their hair. I have like, I know how they look like, but that's the best I can draw from memory. I wonder how my do you draw my OCs from memory? I think you probably use a reference. I wonder how they would look like if you drew them from memory. <laughs> I honestly hate the way I draw hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ione is easy because like there's she just has M hair. <laughs> All you do is just draw M hair and then spiky in the back. There's nothing hard about that. I'm gonna give her her cloak because I don't like her neck here, and I'm just gonna use the big fluffy fluffiness to hide <laughs> everything. Just use the hood to hide everything and. There we go. I don't want to draw it, so I'm just gonna hide it. <laughs> now we know why Christina likes hoodies. You can just hide everything. I don't even care about how it looks like. I don't want to draw her smiling. You like the cloak? I sometimes take off the cloak, um, because I also like her white dress, but um, I feel like I haven't been drawing her in her cloak often. <laughs> ah. 
I hate when I draw hair in a corner like this because like it never looks right. So I'm gonna move this and try to draw her hair first. Because <laughs> you got the spiky. If you don't have the spiky, then it doesn't look like hair. hair a lot shorter I think recently. I really like drawing this little piece of hair sticking out like that. It makes her hair look more consistent because <laughs> I used to have a problem with making her hair look consistent. Even in the hair. Even without their hair? Are you saying they have personality even without their hair? Sorry if you can hear like other sounds. <laughs> the music's so ominous and she's just like, hello. <laughs> Dude, Soda took a long time to design. Like, he's my favorite OC, but like, I would never, I could never get a design for him that actually was like, hey, this is Soda, you know? My friend does like his old design. Wait. <laughs> you heard a door? Oh, hi, Karen. You joined me again. I am trying pizza because I don't know what else to draw right now. <laughs> First thing that popped in my head. Maybe I'm still hungry even though I tried to eat breakfast this morning. Kind of rotated her entire toast torso now. It looks like her shoulders right here. Hey, okay. I'm glad um, you chose me to keep you company. <laughs> Doing your math homework. Hey, yeah, we're just talking about OCs here. I have been ignoring my OCs a lot recently, but I did start a comic and it made me think on my story a bit and I realized hey, I actually have some content that makes sense. <laughs> so. Can't draw a hand. Oh, drawing my SCs again. Flower earring. There we go. Now that looks like her. <laughs> Ione is like a combination of a lot of heroines. Hero heroines? Heroines? Heroine? Everyone just calls it heroin, but I don't I think that's such a weird <laughs> Like it's a drug, isn't it? So like calling it heroin is Anyways, um, girl, female characters, I, I need like a combination of a bunch I like, which is actually quite rare for me to like female characters, unless they're from like a shoujo, because I usually like shoujo girls, because they actually act like girls. <laughs> Oh, 
I can honestly say there's not a lot of like usually yeah shoujo heroines I usually like like uh Shugo Caro. The only ones I didn't like from like the like Maho Shoujo. I usually watch Maho Shoujo but the Maho Shoujo I don't like is uh the main character from Mermaid Melody because all she ever did was just stand there. I still remember her haircut. <laughs> She has such an iconic character design for me, but her eyes, first of all, are freaking huge. Okay, they're like this big. And she got this, like this anime art style, you know? But she got a face like that. I think she has bangs in the front like this, but she's got like these little hair things. And then pigtails. I don't remember if she has like hair in the back or something. Yeah, I think she does. She has like hair in the back too, but that's how she looks like. She got her typical schoolgirl outfit. I don't remember how old she's supposed to be. I think she was a teenager. She wasn't a middle school student. I don't know. Her name was like Lucia or something. But I did not like her. Because all she ever did was stand there with this worried look on her face. Like this. And she just watched her crush, like, surfing. <laughs> he just watched her crush surf- He didn't even have- Okay, he had, like, a full body suit. And he wasn't even attractive in this full body suit. Like, you could make him look ripped and hot, but no, he was just this skinny boy on a surfboard. Um, and all she did was just watch him surf, and she'd be like, Kaito. All the time. <laughs> all the time! Like, most of the series, and, like, she has a crush on him, and then sometimes she would, like, for some reason, he... He's, like, really nice, so I can understand why she likes him, but I don't understand why he likes her back, because, like, all she ever does is just stand there and be like, Kaito. You know? And then, in, like, the third season, this third, this love interest appears, and she's, like, trying to take Kaito for herself. It was really annoying because, like, she wiped his memory so he doesn't remember anything about the main character. And, like, it's supposed to, Like, it was the most annoying thing to watch ever because they were finally getting somewhere. Like, the main character and him were finally, like, getting a relationship started. And then the, the author just decided to, like, hey, let's wipe his memories and make this pointless conflict where, you know, like, this third love interest shows up. <laughs> <laughs> It made me so mad. I, it was it was funniest thing ever because uh, oh ho, hello now sorry I didn't mean to ignore you, but um it was funny too because I watched this entire series on YouTube so there was still the comment section down below and everybody was also ranting about how much they hated that love interest that showed up um, and wiped his memories and like at least that was entertaining to read. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, so now I'm talking about um, I'm talking about Mermaid Melody. I don't know if you watched it, but uh, that that show. You could tell it's for little kids because, like, if I try to watch it now, I could not watch it. But um, I was 12 when I watched it, so I could still kind of. <laughs> Enjoy it a little bit. Enjoy me not being able to remember how to draw on this tablet and having the wrong lines. You haven't seen it? It was. It's, it's a thing altogether. <laughs> It's its own thing. I might paint this because um, I don't want to line it. I heard recently that Tokyo Mew Mew was having a remake. Does anybody know that show? So 
so so ma ho sho jo It was getting a remake and then my friend was rewatching the original series and she had a lot to say about it. <laughs> she doesn't like also the main crush that the female character has. Um, and that is Aoyama Kun. I thought he was nice, but she hates him. She hates his guts. I just like that he wasn't strong and that the main character would always save his butt, so and at least he was actually in the plot, unlike with Mermaid Melody, where you had, like, Kaito very far away. <laughs> and sometimes he'd get in danger, yeah. But usually they would make him go off screen so that the main girl can, you know, transform and she doesn't have to worry about her identity being revealed or whatever. Or, like, the main villains, they would make everyone pass out, you know, so they're asleep and then the battle would start and they transform and whatever, so I just thought, yeah. <laughs> um, I liked in Tokyo Mimi that the, he did pass out sometimes too, but a lot of the conflict that the main girl had in the real world before she transformed, it also had to do with him, so. Um, I see he felt more involved. My friend didn't like him though, because she felt he was too perfect. And I agree, um, but he's not horrible. <laughs> he could be worse. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm wondering if they're good. Because my friend is really hoping that in the remake they uh, change some of the plot because uh, there's a lot of things she's unsatisfied, especially with all the characters' uh, personalities, because a lot of them are annoying. <laughs> They're just annoying. Um, and she's really hoping that they change that. Sorry for making guys look at this ugly orange. They might still keep it as just a show for little kids, so like they won't, they might not care too much about changing the plot. I just hope that they change some of the colors because there's this one character that everyone loves. I still don't like him, but uh, <laughs> his palette is just so freaking ugly. But everyone loves this guy. Let me post him on here real quick. This guy. Oh, he's so tiny. Him. I hate his palette so much. Like, he just looks. First of all, his skin is so white, and then his hair is green, and the rest of everything is brown. He got some red band aid. Like, <laughs> no. I just really hope they fix his palette because he looks awful. <laughs> and it's it's really weird because typically this kind of personality or characters I like, but when he showed like. He's one exception that I don't like. I don't like it at all. I don't like Kishu. Yeah, it is muddy. He just looks really earthy, and I don't think it fits his personality at all because he's like a he's like a trickster, you know. So I I don't know if it fits his personality to have like these earthy tones. And I'm not asking them to just brighten up the, the like the 
palette either because even if you brightened it up he'd still look ugly so like just change the palette make his hair like <laughs> don't make his hair green i don't think hair green hair fits maybe like if you want the earthy tones maybe make it brown instead i don't know or blue or or black i don't know Maybe they don't want to make it black because, like, see, black looks a little better. I don't know if I like that color. Imagine eating pizza and gloves though. Maybe I should take them off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get gloves greasy. That'd be kind of gross. Okay, she has no gloves for the pizza. But now she looks weird without her gloves. She looks like she's naked under it. <laughs> not distracting so I don't want to make anything too distracting also if you can hear me move around I'm sorry this is not discord where it just blocks the sound background noise which I wish we could do that but I don't have a noise cancellation or at least I don't know how to Turn it on. Her skin looks gray for some reason. She looks very bright.
should probably get a pizza reference because I don't know what I'm doing here. Gotta try cheese. <laughs> melted cheese. I have melted cheese all the time. I think I'll need some red for the sauce. It just looks like blood. <laughs> be copyrighted for music I use, so I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that because I'm talking, um, they won't copyright it. <laughs> I used to have this palette thing on my old computer where I had a bunch of colors saved on here, but since I got a new computer, it's gone, <laughs> and I'm really sad about that because um, I can't find the colors I liked again. And I had all my OC palettes saved on here too, so I could really just easily copy what I needed. first started drawing with lighting um, I really liked like backlighting where you would have most of the figure and shadow like what I'm doing right now 
But I thought that if I did it too much, people would say my art is boring because I always do the same thing. Um, but then I realized there, there's a lot of artists who don't do this at all. So their lighting is the same anyways. So I was like, this is just going to become my style then because I really like bad lighting. <laughs> I'm about to cry doing this man. I'm sorry. It has a bit a lot of like OST vibes to it. Math is brutal. provide you with art and also music during your math homework. <laughs> I can't say this art is too good. Is it one question but it's like one part A, part B, part C? I hate when they do that. Maybe someone in the chat can help out. <laughs> I don't I don't I can't though because I haven't done math in like I graduated in 2018 so it's been a while. You sure? I guess you could take a break. I'm getting nowhere. If it's college level stuff, then I definitely won't be able to help. <laughs> Philosophy? 
Did they make you do math anyways in the end? does have a philosophy because like the guy there's like people in Greece that were already coming up with books <laughs> of how to do math. Oh, thank you. And if anyone needs the name oh, of the artist, I could uh, write it somewhere. <laughs> I already answered the question for JoJo at the start of this chat. But I don't know if you guys can see the chat, honestly. So I'm still trying to figure this YouTube stuff out. <laughs> Yes, um, I, I switched the M and L because I, uh, <laughs> I didn't spell it right, but it's supposed to be Wilhelmson, not Wilhelmson. Uh, I found him on Spotify, and that's where I'm playing his music right now, because, um, I don't know how much stuff he has on YouTube. I think there's most of his stuff on YouTube. I remember sharing some songs with friends, so um, I think you can find some songs on there. He has a lot of BG sounding stuff, though he finally released a new album after a while, but um, it sounds a lot more trance-like, you know? It doesn't really have a melody to the music that much, unlike his previous ones, which um, I was kind of disappointed about. Because <laughs> I don't like those that music where it just like sound is playing, but you can't really... There's no tempo, there's no beat to it. It's just sound playing um, with like synths going up and down in tone. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but that's what his new album sounds like, and I wasn't too happy about it, but oh well. Can't tell him what to make. He makes whatever he wants to. Maybe it's like an experiment he was trying out. But it's been a, like a very long time since he released a new album. I wish I could control the shape of my brush better. I have to keep going back and editing it manually myself. Oh, 
don't have sword eye eyebrows. <laughs> His eyebrows are huge. She kind of looks like she has bug teeth. <laughs> I like painting on one layer because I don't have to keep switching between layers. <laughs> I feel like that takes too much time. Um, let me just block out colors and do stuff like this easily. Redraw whatever I need to. do the initial sh shading for all the like the initial shading for the for like these this area and the darker brown here um yeah i had separate layers but when i get to the actual painting part then i just merged everything together including the line art and then i don't have to worry <laughs> i especially hate it when like I could just easily paint over line art and like redraw it all over again, but 
have to like go back to the line order layer and like try to erase it and stuff. It just it doesn't work out for me. <laughs> kind of frustrating having to go back to the line order layer and try to fix it. I don't know whether to add these blue lines here. It makes it look kind of choppy. Crude? Is that the word? Crude? Just try to figure out a pink color instead. There are some um, cons to having line art a layer. Like right now, I'm trying to change the color of the line art to like a red instead. Um, so there is some perks to it because I could just easily do um, lock opacity color on top of it, but I, that doesn't happen as often as me needing to paint on top of the lines. should probably have like a... Can you see this? I can see that. No, you can't. It sucks. Oof. There we go. I should probably have this, <laughs> but um, it's kind of big. I don't like that. Makes the area that I work in a lot smaller. I guess I could have it like that and just move it around. Because if I zoom in really close, it might be kind of boring to watch me. to go hiking yesterday and now my pinky toes hurt because of the shoes I was wearing. Like I'm glad I didn't get blisters but um, when I'm walking downhill my toes just push against the front of my shoe and it hurts. You didn't know. Um, I, I was only able to learn, like, I saw someone do this in a spain, speed paint before, and I'm like, how do they do that? There's just this giant picture on the side, and it changes. Like, see, I could do this, and it shows up. <laughs> so, um, I'm like, how did they do that? So I had to look up a tutorial video how they did that, and I found out. So, it's a, it's a secret thing. I don't know if any other art program has this kind of feature. That's because I don't really try them out.
remember also in like my first years of doing the digital art, I also could not understand how to do line art because all my lines would be super shaky. Um, like if it brings the laser to zero. I would try to draw with these kind of lines. You know, it looks really bad. Because <laughs> it picks up like all the little bumps and stuff in my lines. You can see the squiggle here. So all my lines would look like this because I didn't understand that you had to edit the stabilizer up here and change the number to something else. Um, so yeah, YouTube helped me figure that out and I was a very happy person <laughs> when um, I finally changed that number. And of course comes the experimenting of like which one works best for me, but back then it was all fun. I wish I still had that energy. I already feel finished with this. <laughs> Even though I'm not. <laughs> you know, the pizza still looks really unfinished. I'm already like, hey, it looks okay. I started drawing this because I don't know what to draw yet. I want to do something cool, but like, I don't know how to draw that. And I don't know if I can especially do something cool on camera. I did want to highlight so. This makes sense.
Okay, now you have a good night. Good for you, though, for going to sleep on time. So crude. Sunset Pizza. That's the name of this picture. <laughs> Thank you. I usually have the line art is like blue or purple because it just looks like black, but it's not black. So, um, Makes the uh, art look a bit colorful. Jojo, you said you were watching a movie. Which movie was it? I bet you that I probably haven't heard of it or seen it myself, especially if it's a film.
That sounds so cute. It's like a children's movie. <laughs> What's it about? Is it new? Sounds cute. It's from Tony Tony. Title makes it sound pretty fantastical, but that is it sounds it still sounds interesting though. Now it's a lot more drama like. This sounds super familiar. Oh, what's the metaphor? A spoiler alert for anyone who wants to watch it. <laughs> Don't read the chat. Tigers fish? I don't know. I never learned about tigers. For some reason, I keep reading it as Jose when it should be Josie. <laughs> 
Jose. You see like this Mexican dude with the mustache. You know what a job of the world. <laughs> Jose. I've known a couple Jose's. They're all very nice people. Airbrush always makes everything look nicer. I just need to clean up here and there and then I'm done with opacity. I'm like with that. Was I drying this all in a new layer? behind me soon because I want to work on something else. <laughs> oh, can you guys like throw some ideas what you want to see me to draw next because I still don't know what to draw next. Request go! Okay, I can do like quick shaping of different characters. It's not even centered. <laughs> My Rayura aren't. Hey, maybe you should read Rayura and then you would have your own art. 
you can make. <laughs> Yeah, you're almost done with the Boys of Ashes and Fire, I think. That's what you called it. So, please read right your next book <laughs> if you have it. Bryson Hadrian. No one knows these characters, Jojo. No one. Except for you and me. I don't think I really gave you guys a chance to look at it. <laughs> it uh, still really messy, but if you look at it from far away, it looks fine. <laughs> don't mind the straw not being centered. I haven't listened to Rayer in a while. I don't know what make them do they did inspire my characters a lot though because I really love their dynamic between each other which of course is very funny Ooh, <laughs> I have Psy 2 and the last one I tried to download before like I would just add three layers and then my memory usage would be at like 99 and I thought that was the weirdest thing I'm like why is it doing that so I had to download a different one and now it's at 5% because I tried to use these new tools like gradient like because you know so i never had this before so i thought it was like why i bother adding these tools if i can't even use them i'm just really happy they finally have a text tool because for some reason they never did <laughs> but now we get a text tool karen have you thought of something So I'll change the music. Maybe that's what's distracting you guys. You don't have to answer. It's just you wrote, I'm thinking. So, like, if you thought of something, feel free to say it. You forgot. What should I play though?
You guys said something. Sorry, I'm looking on Pinterest. <laughs> Pose ideas, go. Just drop from my friends. Up. Okay, uh, let's see what you wrote. Do you have like old drawings you keep? I want to see when I, I want to cry when I see mine like on paper. I have ever seen Yato from you. Yeah, I've drawn Yato before, but he's on my old account. <laughs> let's try Yato because I was actually looking at um Katana poses, so I found this one. Put Yato here, and this will be Yukine. I was thinking of making it June, but Yato sounds fun. When I drew Yato, I was still really bad at drawing clothes, so like, here, let me show you an old one, an old picture I've had. <laughs> it's on my different art. Noragami. Hmm. Oh, there's over here. Did I delete it? Where is it? I think I put it in my archive, maybe, because I'm like, ew, it's ugly. Oh, no, no, there it is. I found it. Okay, you guys ready for some old art? <laughs> there you go. This is still from season one, so that's why Yukina is being a depressed baby. Look at me! I'm just like, oh yeah, look at those shadows. <laughs> it's looks so cool. Um, yeah, I was not good at drying clothes yet, so... <laughs> I was actually proud of this. Let me try to make it... Um, brighter because I can't see anything. Yeah, um, I put like this weird texture on it because I thought it'd look cooler. Like it looked more better. His wrist is broken. Um, I can't draw fingers. <laughs> um, let's look at what year this was. I think it was 2015, 14-ish. Yeah, I posted this in February 2014, so I was 13 years old, 14 years old. I was 14 when I drew this, and yeah, um, I think, I don't remember if I had this on paper first. I've never seen it on paper, so I think I tried to draw this, but his like hand is too short. <laughs> Needs to be longer. Yeah, I actually have some traditional art I do like of him that I've made on my other Instagram. Particularly one with his eyes. Why did I delete the canvas? This one. I like that one. And then... I had... As you can tell, it still looks like the other picture. He still looks like a, in the other picture I drew before. This one, this one, and then this one I was really proud of, but I left it in the kitchen and then it got... People kept moving it around everywhere and it got really dirty. I also really like this one when he was baby. I drew. I was actually kind of proud of the clothes here. Because I like. This is when I learned that I really like fluffy clothes <laughs> and not skin tight ones.
Hey. The only thing I was upset about when I drew this picture, I'm like, why did I put it on lined paper? Why? <laughs> All my best art would always be on lined paper whenever I drew, and I was really sad because it's like you'd have all those blue lines going across. I feel like those lined paper help me with proportions or something because they, they always turned out pretty nice. Why his head looks so flat when I flip it? Meh. He just looks creepy here. I thought I made him look happy, but he looks kind of scary. <laughs> Anyways, let's try to draw this person. <laughs> you don't understand the thing. Um, read the manga. That's all I would say. Because uh, with the... Don't rewatch it, please read it. The manga, the anime like changed so many things, which is really sad. Um, they changed the plot at the end of the first season and then again at the end of the second season. And I don't think they're good changes. AC is on. Hold on, let me turn it off. I really know it loud. Why is it on? Is it just, it's raining outside. <laughs> Don't know which one. It's like cloudy. There's no sun. My AC just randomly decides to turn on. Okay, it's off now. I don't want to spoil no origami. But I haven't read it in a while either. Shame. Uh, Cause it updates so slow. It is time. doing I shouldn't focus on the fingers too much her head is tiny but that's okay we'll fix that later <laughs> still trying to figure out what I'm doing I also have to change the body to be a boy too because she's got a female body and I have to change it so that's so fun okay I can make her head bigger there's like a triangle here Way too crowded in here. Yukine is also two swords, though. Oh well. <laughs> this is gonna be before he transforms into two swords. It's just gonna be one. Ooh, I'm gonna get to I get to draw a bunch of the uh, random uh, things around him. The the band aids.
Yeah. I think they really help to add some more dynamic. Especially, like, if you- have you read the manga? The, have you caught up with the manga? Wait, you just bought it, I remember. <laughs> you haven't read the recent chapters, have you? Dang it! So alone! So alone at that. He's got a new outfit, though, and he has, like, this scarf on top of his head, too. And it's green? And, um... Uh, I thought it was really cool, because he has, like, all these scarves around him as well. Bro, where the manga was at when I st stopped reading it, it was so... So much stuff was happening. I don't want to draw his butt. I'm not good at drawing butts. And, like, her, it doesn't help because her butt's covered, too, so I don't know what's happening here. But then I don't want to give him a female butt. I just hide it. <laughs> I'm not completely happy with this torso either, though. I'll put his leg in the front instead. I draw that. Okay, let's do that. Rotate him a bit. I'll still need this picture because I will need it for the hands for reference, but anyways, I think we could start drawing Yato on top of it. Ah, he's so pretty! <laughs> I tried starting to watch this with my friend, but I don't think she was that interested in it. Hair's all over the place. Okay. For some reason, every time I draw his hair, it doesn't look like him. And I don't know why. His hair is so unique though, like you don't see this type of hair on main characters usually, especially for the boys. I can't find a reference picture I like. Did you receive it yet? The manga? Look how big this picture is. So big. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Long button. There we go. You just got three volumes? You waited so long for three volumes. Jojo. It's painful. 
I'm also gonna have another reference for his eyes. <sighs> Why are they so big? For three months. You didn't even get one per month. It's like one every two months. this way he's got like a round face too but I don't know if I should draw him with the round face but it's just could be the style Sweaty boy. His hair is like spiky and also not at the same time. And like, I can never get it right. Because I don't know how to draw it. Because it's like short and long at the same time. That looks like it. <laughs> Didn't want to make it lower though. I'll fix it. I'll get to it. Don't like the back. I don't know how to fix it yet either. Does he have like a... Yes. He has a little... Thing like that. For his sleeves. I love that I can use his scarf to hide his face so I don't have to draw it. <laughs> Boy here is skinny.
this probably looks weird. Ugh, pain. Can I make it bigger? Too big. Sorry, yeah. You have a good night. Thank you for joining. I'll probably end stream soon too. I don't know if I'm gonna call it this, but I think two hours is enough for today. <laughs> Line shorter to draw just by zooming out. <laughs> For some reason, I can't draw a katana unless I have a reference. Because every time I try to draw them on my own, they just don't look right. I don't. <laughs> I do like how I just like I, I gave up on the design for this strap uh, for where you hold it, and I would just I just draw lines like this. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> it looks like it for some reason. Um, it's my lazy way of doing it. Look at my recent art, that's what I do. Eat. This looks good, I hope. I mean, I'm not satisfied with it, but <laughs> I'm trying my best. Don't like his stomach. Ooh. This is better than whatever that was. My arm is numb. Why is it numb? I 
I wish I could put like Kurut the Hey Kids on here or something and then but I'll probably get the copyright strike. <laughs> Why did I have like such banger openings? I didn't think I liked the first, the second one the first time I heard it, but then it really grew on me. Especially if I listen to the full thing, the 30 minute one. Yeah, the copyright strike. Instead, we get Emancipator. Okay, um, I don't think Yukine has any straps on him. I need to look up Yukine. I don't even think he has that, um, guard. He doesn't have the sword guard on him. No, he does not. It's so funny to me because like that guard is there so it can stop swords from chopping your hands off um, and Yukine does not even have one so he wants them to chop Yato's hands off. this thing to go around him. <laughs> don't put me under stress. I don't know what I'm doing. Does he have more than one bandage sticking out? Or is it just one? Just one? And it comes from the front? Okay, never mind. The bandage does not come from the top of it. It comes from the bottom of it. Put this back here. <laughs> around Yato's hand, maybe. Cause I do want it to go around him. Maybe it'll just go around the sword. Hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> there has to be a certain flow, okay? It has to be a flow. And if I don't put the flow on here, it ruins the entire picture. It has to be around the sword. I don't think I can make it go around Yato. his elbow here. Makes it look weird.
and just put it in his face. You can't even see it. Ah, pain. I'll make your toe a different color. Blue. She need to color the rest of the sword now. Maybe I will color it. This makes me want to color it now. <gasps> oh my god, I can actually do this. Yay. No. Okay, I'll fix that myself. <laughs> Maybe a light blue.
Why'd you sleep in? I'm gonna be done soon. <laughs> I love how your name is also Pete Cow on here too. <laughs> you used to go to sleep so early and now you stay up. Remember you go to sleep at like seven? <laughs> Well, I am drawing that one guy we tried to watch before. Oh. From that one show. This dude. Oops. <laughs> I know, right? The haircut. Their, their personalities are different, though. This guy just wants to be worshipped. I realized I forgot to color it. The bandage right here. I know, right? <laughs> it makes them so easy to draw. Does he have a stripe on his side? Back to the drawing board. Uh, yeah, to give me your pants. Yes, he does have a stripe on the side of his the side of him. I don't usually sports outfits do have that. Why does his design work? <laughs> How did the author do this? I think I'll make his hair darker too. Eh, never mind. Should 
Should I clean it up? I don't know. I feel like I should clean it up. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> it's so dirty. <laughs> I kind of want to clean it up with like a textured brush too. I don't know if I want that brush though. Mm. No. Yeah, let's do this one. Too dark. Letting me erase some of these strokes. Like dirt six. I think I made it worse. And do and do and do. someone talking in the room next to me and I don't know if you guys can hear them Okay, good. <laughs> My brothers, they usually don't talk to each other, so I don't know what they're blabbering on about right now.
her skin being blue, I don't really like that. Make it a different color. Thank you, Jojo. Hey, uh, P. Colby, do you want me to call you something on the internet, not by your real name, because I don't know what <laughs> you would want me to call you on here. Because I could call you by your real name, but I don't know if you'd be comfortable with that, so. After all, this will be staying on the internet. I don't even know if you realize I'm talking to you. Oh well, it's okay. Just add random lines and then it looks like stuff is happening. <laughs> pronounce it is it p co p cow it just sounds like i'm calling you a p cow and i don't want to call you that <laughs> I'm sorry. It might be a pronunciation that I'm not even aware of exists. With all this talented, I don't like his pose that much, but I tried. It's really messy. It's lit really messy. And for some reason, I'm always okay with that. I don't like cleaning it up. <laughs>
Chuck kind of cool. <laughs> It looks like the. I want to add the thing, that the 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 words behind him whenever he does the spell, but ah, uh, I don't know how to do those. Where is it? I don't even have a reference. I made that seem so pretty though. <laughs> Where is it? Why is there no... Oh, the words are orange. That's so cool. These, these ones. But I don't know any kanji, let alone, like, ancient Japanese kanji. <laughs> uh, I can't just copy them either. This is sad. And they're orange, too. It'll look like if I added, like, a black... Background. No. No. <laughs> yeah, work. <laughs> if you can see about this picture, that's not really a good reference because they're all pixelated, so it's not like I can copy those. Oh well, I'll just stick with this. Um, it looks more like the space that Yukina is in when he talks to Yato in his uh, sword form, but oh well. Oh well. Just nice, these lines here. And there. I think we're we're done. I was able to again draw fan art when I wanted to work on OCs, but uh, better than nothing. I did draw any in the end. Thank you guys. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, I already drew one of them. If you want to see, I'll probably post it. I, I worked on this one. Um, ignore the very plastic looking pizza because I don't know how to draw pizza. <laughs> um, and the straw is not in the center which bothers me. But, um, that's what I did. And then that's the second one I did, so. You remember her name? Makes me want cheese pizza too. Oh well. Well, um, I think this is all I'm doing for today. The stream is already an hour, two hours and a half long. If you do want to see it from the beginning, you can just watch it from the beginning. So, yeah. Thank you everyone for joining me.
I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Also, uh, Paige, you can text me if you want. Ah, I see you have Mochi as your profile picture. That's so cute. And Jojo, of course, I'll be on Discord too, so. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. I'll be ending stream now. Bye.